Hello. So I wanted to take this time to uh, show you. Actually, this should be a review, um, but I want to show you how to find the energy stored in an elastic material like a rubber band, a spring, a bungee cord, a trampoline, objects like that. Um, so, simplest way I can think of would require that you have a force, try that again, force versus a stretch graph. So I'm going to use F for force, X for stretch, okay? And the one assumption we're making in this class is that the amount of force required to stretch this elastic material is directly proportional to the amount that you stretch the material. So in other words, we have a linear graph. We're also assuming that our intercept is zero, meaning that when we don't stretch the object, there's uh, zero force required. So to begin stretching it, this graph is shifted up, meaning that to start stretching it, we don't need a loading force, okay? So we're assuming this graph goes through zero, zero, which isn't necessarily the case in, in our real world. Um, so uh, you should recall that from the spring lab, the slope of this line we've been calling k. That stands for uh, spring constant. It's got a very sophisticated name, spring constant. Okay. And if you know the equation of a line, equation of a line is y equals mx plus b, but our intercept here is zero, so we're not worried about it. Y is f, right? m is our spring constant k, right? So f equals our spring constant k times x, right? So you take your spring constant, you multiply by how much you stretch your spring, and you should get the force that you needed to stretch to stretch the spring that amount, okay? So kx will give you how much force is required to stretch the spring that amount. Um, now to find energy, we want the area of this graph, right? And since this shape is a triangle, notice the area is going to be newtons times meters in units, because we're going to take the base times the height and cut that in half, right? So energy elastic, which is going to have the units newtons times meters, is going to be the height of this triangle, right? And we said that force can be found by spring constant times x. The base of this triangle, let's just call that x. The height, we'll call it k times x. So this gets us an equation of basically I can either do F, the force, times x, the amount I stretch the spring, divide by 2, or I can do E elastic, is equal to, I can plug in for F, kx, whoops, let me make this a little nicer. That was actually fine. kx is the height of that triangle, x is the base of that triangle, cut that in half. These are our equations for elastic energy stored in a spring, rubber band, um, trampoline, bungee cord. Um, again, all you really got to do is draw an fx graph and find the area of that graph. All right? So there you go. Quick review of how to find energy stored in an elastic material.